Okay, it's day three of the film festival. Yes. And it's with the documentaries. I'm super excited about this one. <laughs> extra shot of espresso, extra ice, no whipped cream. Okay. Do you see? Large iced coffee with some cream in it. I forgot the pa I forgot the passes because I have to be the responsible one and I have to remember everything. So tell me again the plan about us forgetting our victory passes. <laughs> um, well, they'll remember us. And if they don't remember us, I think I have a picture of them on my phone when I took toe pictures. Okay. Um, or we'll just sweet talk them. Awesome. Thank you. Great. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to take a minute to talk about how truly awesome this film festival is. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, I haven't liked every single movie, but it's just such a cool opportunity to go watch a ton of movies all at once in an environment that you normally wouldn't go to. Totally, and it's for this area. I mean, you don't think of Pine City as like a... The Hollywood of Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, but it's just really cool because so many people are just talented filmmakers and it's just an opportunity to get your stuff out there and, you know, have a have a goal to work towards. Yeah, it's really neat. How do you like to sandblast that big tube? That wasn't the time-lapse effect. She was actually going that fast and we're still going to be late. Whoop, whoop! World-famous Grandy Chicken. Hey, Culligan Man! I've been dying to do that. <laughs> it's hilarious, honey. <laughs> now, tell me if this doesn't look like the Bates Motel from the Netflix original series Bates Motel. It has been established for the city. Authorities advise all citizens to stay in their homes. A spool of thread. A single strand. It was against the law for us to practice our religion. The only way that we could do it was to smoke commercial tobacco. And that's just been going on for so many years. That's what people are used to. American Indians in the Northern Plains, including Minnesota, have the highest smoking rates of American Indians anywhere across the country. Okay, and we're gearing up for the last documentary, in fact, the last film of the show. Yes, A Life Well Played. Yeah, I think the filmmakers are here. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to hear what they have to say about yeah. it. Yeah. The most prolific man I know. I'm blessed to be able to play with him. I've never made one record that I didn't think at the time was the exact right thing to do. I just love the guy. Okay, so uh, the film festival is over. Mm -hmm. We just watched the last one, which was kind of cool because I had the filmmaker there and it was about a guitar player and he was there. So yeah. he's written like 200 songs. Fantastic so that was Fantastic guitar player. Kind of like a gypsy jazz. What did they call it? Like a gypsy jazz type Yeah, player. I got Eastern European something. Yeah, and Django, who is, a, who is a very popular guitarist, was kind of one of his big influences. So that was yeah, cool. Yeah, that is so much up your alley more than more than me. But... Um, what do you think of the other films we watched tonight? Well, I thought they were pretty good. I thought the uh, Keep Tobacco Sacred was very interesting. I had no idea mm. about any of that. That was just brand new news to me. Well, I knew about tobacco being sacred in Native American culture, but I didn't know there was a push to get away from commercial tobacco because we right. had a kid that died in high school that had Native American ancestry, and then the funeral, they handed out cigarettes like at a, in a oh, basket because smoking tobacco was very... 
a part of the spirituality yeah, of yeah. it. Yeah. Um, the other thing I thought about the films tonight is I am just so grateful and blessed for my life. Oh, I that know. That one about Burma. That stuff really affects me, and that was just, I'm just so grateful for all I have, and yeah. not to have lived through war, and just, that was, those. some of those were yeah. pretty powerful. There was just so a lot cool. of um, sadness in some of the movies tonight, so, mm -hmm. but, but again, it makes you super grateful for all that we have, and I think that's kind of what music or movies are supposed to be kind of like storytelling yeah. and talking you know about the human journey and just kind of exposing our hearts to what life's all about and yeah. it's like an emotion machine it's, <laughs> an emotion machine it's That's trying good. to elicit this you know emotion like all art is yeah so. yeah literature music it's just I want to come back here next year yeah. I really enjoyed it totally. great job to the highway 61 film fest um, yeah. volunteers and committee and just super awesome event in, mm -hmm. in East Central Minnesota. So, awesome.